evolution training and education i am dr mahesh jagwani today i'm going to discuss about how to go about cementation for brazil restorations cementing and bonding protocols for crown and bridge restorations in my opinion are highly underrated procedures i feel it is the most important step in the entire rehabilitation process because even a great looking restoration is of no use if it doesn't stay in place we are all aware about the bonding protocols for lithium disilicate restorations It involves the use of hydrofluoric acid and silane coupling agents to make the inner surface of the restoration more receptive to the bonding procedure. Praxir, on the other hand, is slightly different. It is fair to say that 100% of these restorations need to be tried into the patient's mouth before going ahead with the final cementation, just to ensure that everything falls into place and as per plan. Also, it is highly impossible to try these restorations inside the mouth without getting salivary contamination on the internal surface of the restoration. Generically, Praxir is nothing but zirconium oxide which has a high affinity for phosphates. The phospholipids from the saliva easily bond to the zirconium oxide of the restoration while it is being tried into the patient's mouth. So after the trial, we get the crown out, we clean it with a three-way syringe with a water spray and we also air dry it and we think it's clean because we cannot see any saliva inside. But what we cannot see is that the phosphates from the saliva are still bound to the zirconium oxide of the restoration. As a result, all the binding sites are now taken up by the phosphates so regardless of what we do we really do not achieve optimum bond strength so what really happens when the phosphates come in contact with the zirconium oxide it's nothing but an acid base reaction really uh, it results in the formation of a salt and water this is basically a study which was conducted to check the effectiveness of various cleaning agents on the bond strength as we can see the uncontaminated restoration gives the highest bond strength and we are going to use this value as a reference or control water and isopropyl alcohol add absolutely no effect on the bond strength which means they do absolutely no cleaning of the restoration phosphoric acid on the other hand causes only a slight increase in the bond strength the highest bond strength is achieved by air abrasion with corundum but how many dentists would actually have an air abrasion unit in their clinic so how do you actually clean the restoration before final cementation well i use a product called ivoclean from ivoclar vivadent It is nothing but a suspension of zirconium oxide in an aqueous solution. This is another similar study which was done and it shows that Ivoclean is actually a very good cleaning agent and helps restore the bond strength closest to optimum. So how do you use Ivoclean? Well, the use is quite simple. All you need to do is just flood the internal surface of the restoration with Ivoclean using a micro brush and just agitate it a little bit. This results in a lot of free zirconium oxide molecules in the solution and because of the concentration gradient It acts like a sponge and absorbs all the phosphates which were bound to the restoration. It can then be washed out after 20 seconds using a water spray. However, it is highly caustic and corrosive. As you can see, its pH is around 13 to 13.5. Therefore, Ivoclean should not be used inside the patient's mouth. Also, it is better to avoid contact with skin and eyes. So, always use Ivoclean to clean up any Bruxelles crown or bridge restoration before the final cementation. In fact, not only for Bruxelles, we can also use this for other zirconia-based restorations. Well that's about it for today's episode please write in your comments suggestions and requests for featuring certain specific procedures at the email address mentioned below I want to thank you all for watching this video on behalf of everybody here at Illusion Dental Laboratory see you next time